Every task in a Gantt chart needs a start date and an end date. When you download the Gantt chart, you can see examples of each combination of inputs you can use to define a task. You should only have two columns filled in for each task. Columns O and P use your inputs to calculate the start date and end date for each task, and these values are used to display the task in the Gantt chart. You only enter two inputs for each task in the green columns. The simplest way to define a task is to manually enter the start date and the end date. Another way you can define a task is to give it a start date and estimate how many days it will take to complete. Most tasks will probably use work days, but there may be tasks that also occur over the weekends, such as allowing cement to cure, and for these you would use calendar days. As you get more advanced in your planning, you can make your schedule more automated so that if one task changes duration, the dates for the other tasks will adjust automatically. That is when you will use the predecessor column. Instead of entering a start date, you will type equals and then click the work breakdown structure number of the task that will need to be completed before this task can be started. The worksheet calculates the start date to be the workday after the predecessor task is complete. If you change when the predecessor task is completed, this task's dates automatically change as well. Remember, if you are using the predecessor column, do not enter the start date because the worksheet will calculate it for you. However, you will enter either the number of workdays or the number of calendar days needed to complete the task. For some tasks, you may be working backwards from a deadline. You will enter the end date of when your task needs to be complete, and then enter either the number of workdays or the number of calendar days needed to complete the task. The worksheet will calculate what date you will need to start your task in order to complete it on time. You can always enter your own formulas if your tasks are related in different ways. For example, you can enter a formula to make the start date the same as another task. Or you can make a task start one day after another task begins. When you are ready to print or share your Gantt chart, you can hide the green input columns, showing only the gray columns with the calculated dates and durations of each task. This presents a clean looking chart you can share with your colleagues.